This is outer space. It's an empty void, a vacuum, is it not? Empty space is teeming with fluctuating bursts of energy known as quantum fluctuations. So what is quantum? Well, a grain of sand contains approximately 45 quintillion atoms. And a single one of those atoms, 100 million quantum particles could fit in. That's really, really small. Quantum fluctuations are an important puzzle piece to our understanding of the earliest moments of the Big Bang and the universe. Now let's dial back 14 billion years to see them in action. In the first millisecond of the Big Bang, there were tiny bursts of energy appearing from space itself. Yes, quantum fluctuations. Particle and antiparticle pairs are appearing from nothingness, colliding with each other in a burst of energy and disappearing altogether all within the smallest fraction of a second. The energy would then form new particles, and this endless cycle continues even until this day. Shortly after the Big Bang, cosmic inflation started, which expanded the universe from its atomic size to the scale we know of today. The energy densities that were fluctuating remained in the same position as they were expanded and spread apart. The tiny differences in energy densities were blown up to epic proportions. Over time, matter, including galaxies, stars, and planets, gravitated towards the areas with higher energy densities, leaving behind dark energy and emptiness. This formation is what we call the cosmic web, the structure of our universe, and is directly tied to quantum fluctuations. But how do we know they exist? These fluctuations can be explained by the Heisenberg uncertainty principle which can also explain many other non-physical phenomena. Quantum fluctuations also explain many other fundamental concepts such as the depth of black holes and even the temperature of the universe. This is Powhi, the black hole photographed on April 10, 2019. After releasing thermal energy for billions of years, it will die, the fate of all black holes. A particle within the black hole collides with a particle on the outside thereby releasing thermal energy. In another example, the coldest temperature possible is zero Kelvin, negative 273 degrees Celsius. However, outer space is only 2.7 Kelvin, negative 270.3 degrees Celsius. The energy of space itself is known as zero point energy, and the fluctuating bursts of energy prevent the temperature from going down even lower. So the next time you look up into the sky, it isn't just the stars or the planets that are interesting, but the empty space in between as well.